What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to break down evolving faster. So this is the secret to hockey IQ that no one told you. So when we look at hockey IQ, I want to break down what that actually means in the way that I define it. So first of all, when we think of hockey IQ, I like to think of it in two distinct things. You have options and then you have skill. Now, this is a little bit of a counterintuitive way to think of it. I think that these are really important distinguishments or things to distinguish. Like these two things are both really important because you want to be able to understand, okay, what options do I have in a situation? So say you have the puck in the slot. This is my favorite example. So say you have the puck in the slot. You have options, which means these are the things you're aware of. I call these neural links. And then you have your ability. This is your ability to ex execute. All right? This is your ability to execute. You want to have two different things if you want to make decisions. You want to have one, more options. So this can be done by, I recommend doing this by study. So study NHLers then study players that are better than you. And then look at your teammates as well. That of course, you wanna look at players that are doing better at certain whatever decision. So if you wanna get better at shooting in the slot, look at, study those players that you know seem to be, well one, study them that are at a higher level, but seem to be better than you in that situation. Right, so situational. Now, first of all, so we have the idea of having more options, then we also want to make sure that we select better options. So we want to expand the places we can shoot, the ways we can shoot, where we can shoot from, and then we wanna be able to select the better of those options. If you're able to do this, if you're able to actually take a look and say, okay, what are the options I have, select a better option, and this happens automatically. And ultimately, and you have these options, now the key is, is having the ability, which comes down to having more skills, so a variety of different abilities. So this could be like a different, a whole bunch of different types of shot selection. This could be different ways of balancing and shooting from different angles. And then being better at it. So this is competency, competency, competency. Wow, struggling with that word, competency. And it's at being actually more competent at a certain skill. So you want to have more skills to pick from and or you want to be better. Now, this is something you want to determine. This is how you strategize and, and decide how you want to prioritize your training. The key mistake that most players are making when they're doing their training is they're not assessing and looking at these things more distinctly. They're not looking and saying, okay, how can I increase my options by having more skills so you can do the, this? And how can I select better options by having better competency at those options? These things kind of flow together, right? If you're better at something, it allows you to be able to do it more often, right? So you want to make sure that this also flows. You want to have these two things flow together too, right? Because you don't just want to have more skill, but you also want to be better at those skills. And this is a, is a key thing to understand. Now, this is a cool concept, which we're actually going to scroll down a bit to just draw this again. So now that we've broken down those concepts, now I want to look at this idea of evolution. So what am I talking about? So when we talk about the way we make decisions and the way that we improve on our decision making process, we want to think about our decisions just like animals evolving. So if you understand the concept of how evolution works, so you have something, right, you have an organism, and then it will breed and it will split off and you'll have mutations. So one mutation will go this way, you know, one will go this way, 
want to go this way, want to go this way, want to go this way, and so on, right? So you're going to have a whole bunch of different options, right? So this could be having the puck in the slot. So now for all of these, these are all options of, uh, we'll just say slot, shot, right? So all of these are different options. So this could be, for example, uh, you could say like quick release. You could say um, drag shot. And then you could also define these down as well. So it could be like, you know, quick release high, drag shot high. We'll say QR low left or whatever, right? So the idea is, is that so now what the, these are different thought organisms that have happened. So you have these thought organisms. I know this is getting pretty crappy. I'm going to actually get rid of those circles. I don't like that. We'll get that out of the way. So you have these different th organisms, these thoughts that have are, are options that you can execute. Now, some of these work and some of them don't. Now, what happens is, is that our brain is going to actually select one of these things. It's going to select one of them and say, okay, this worked. So say you try quick release high. Now that worked. So now what's going to happen is that is going to move on and evolve. And now that is going to be more likely to happen in the future, right? So then this increases the likelihood now that is one of your evolution trees. Now, what happens is, and this is a very cool concept to think about, is our brain ultimately is made up of a whole bunch of these different things, these evolution trees, these thought trees, as I call them, right? So these are thought trees right here. And I'll label that. Right? So thought trees. So the reason these are and try to So thought trees and the reason these are effective is because we actually have these always happening whenever we do things. We're just not consciously aware of them. So you want to become consciously aware of them. And you learn how to choose which thought trees and which evolutions are going to happen because this is what happens naturally. Something will happen, and then now your brain selects, oh, this worked out, so now let's do that again. This one survives, this one dies, this one dies, you know, maybe this one worked, you know, high slap or whatever. So maybe this one survives, right? So this one gets passed on, so this one survives. So now you have this one and this one. So you have two different ones that have survived. Now there can be options that go off this, so go for rebound. No, there could be something else. No, uh, hit opponent or whatever happens. But right, so now these things happen. Now let's say rebound doesn't work. So now your brain says, all right, well, rebound didn't work. So screw that. I'm not going to try that again. Hit opponent worked. Bump a guy off balance. Okay, cool. Bump him off balance. Boom. Next option pops up. Now go for rebound. That worked that time. So then it gets passed on to the next. This is how we evolve our brain. So think about that next time that you're assessing how you played in your last game. This may actually make a difference for you. So try using thought trees and think about how your thoughts evolve and think about how you can take advantage of absor observing the thought trees that exist in different situations. So I'm gonna release different videos and break this down a little bit more clearly for you guys so you can understand it. But I just wanted to give you a taste of what that concept really is and ultimately let you know that if you want to be great you need to evolve faster and this is the secret to hockey iq that you were never told all right i'll see you guys soon i hope you have a great day and i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it